Yeah. All right, we're recording. Yeah, I mean, like the kind of problems that we're bringing. So it's yeah. like. If any of you are so inclined to move towards the middle, you know what, you should... you're welcome to do so. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to get this show started here. And since there's about 20 of us, and we're going to sound like we're 500, that means that every single one of you has got to make enough noise for like five or six people. <laughs> shopping carts away. Step two, help other people in any way you can. Be tall when they're short. Be steady when they're shaken. Be strong when they're weak. Step three, when you hear a crash of carts coming towards you, stand back. There's a cart man coming through. And remember, if you give of yourself to other people, you will be rewarded, whether it's by gods or the flying spaghetti monster or karma or the force or Newton's law of action and reaction. If you put a piece of yourself out there to help others, you'll get it back. One fold, three fold, seven fold. Yes, it matters because there's so much shit in the world. We have to start shoveling it in the fertilizer. Let's turn the soil together. Black, white, yellow, brown, red, gay, straight, pan, male, female, trans, Christian, Jew, Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, polytheistic, anti-denominational, <laughs> atheist, agnostic, pagan, Satanist. We all need to contribute. No one can do this alone. But there is one thing we can do ourselves. Put your shopping carts away. Because yes, it matters. So that was dedicated to 
my friend, Mr. H. Styles, 83. He and I uh, were workers in the same place where that idea came in originally. I didn't write it for a few more of years after. So, how many of you like diabetes? It's sweet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The anticipation consumes me before sugar ever hits my lips. I know well the smell of baked goods, the lashing of my tongue, my granulated goodness, the pure caning of my taste buds, the oncoming sweetness. All my life I've known when something was going to be too sweet, but like a slave I was chained to its consumption. No, not a slave. I had a choice. I made the choice. I took in every bite with relish or ketchup in disgust. <laughs> but I ate it all. I ate too much all the time. I made the choice as a child. Maybe I didn't know any better. My brother gorged himself, so I thought I could too. And I did. I fell asleep after big meals like the men in my family. I thought that was normal. There was so much less information back then to begin with, and as a child, I had the least of it, and as a child, I had the most trust for people who didn't know what was best for me, but tried, at least in some cases. I've been getting high on fructose for as long as I can remember, and my dealers were my family. It's true, you shouldn't get high on your own supply. The sugar crosses my lips, tongue down my throat, hits my stomach, I've always had a stomach that can stand anything. Hot food, mass amounts, give me anything except lima beans, weirdly enough. No discomfort, no vomiting. Combine a cast iron stomach with revulsion towards wasting food, and I've got a recipe for fat aster. I've always been fat. Other than a few extra layers and twice the density, I looked like I did when I wrestled 112 pounds in high school. I've had a dad bod since before the term was in vogue, long before I was old enough to be a dad. The sugar collects in my body. My pancreas fights for its life inside me, producing or possibly, probably, overburdening itself. A sponge squeezed and re-squeezed until there's no liquid left, and squeezed again until it is a dry husk of an organ. At least that's the progression. My kidneys don't know how to process the urea and have become damaged spewing protein like an oil pipeline. My body is a disaster area, a terrorist aftermath, and my life is the resistance to it. I might go a little longer than 10 minutes just because. Yeah, please do. Because I fucking busted my ass today. So is Skylar, give Skylar your hand. The story goes, a man laments his broken leg until the local land baron comes to conscript every able-bodied man for war against his rival. Then, they took his son instead, but the house collapsed over the son's room the next day. This alerts the family of their house's structural shortcomings. They build a new house. The family hires journeymen who help and stay on with the farm after. They cost a lot of feet to feed but the next season's harvest is twice as much as ever before. One journeyman fancies the man's daughter. They marry, make babies, grandchildren. The family grows, the love grows. My leg is not broken, but I'm having a hard time seeing what the next step will be to make this circumstance okay. That 
was about a year ago, just after I got laid off from the job that I was, it was supposed to be like my forever job for the rest of my life, and I got laid off. But I just recently got a new job, so. Alright, so there's, oh, here it is. Okay, so there's this poem by uh, Mary Oliver called Wild Geese, and this is written after that. You don't have to perform your art for anyone. You only have to create it for yourself. You don't have to be happy all the time. You only have to survive. You do not have to give anything more than you are willing to. You only have to make sure you are willing to survive. You do not have to settle for a discomfort in life. You only have to find a fucking job so you don't mooch off anyone. You do not have to kill yourself. You only have to make killing yourself seem like the least appealing option. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming. And Arts and Stark actually is the first uh, promo we're doing, so sorry, all you uh, communist fucks. I'm, I'm sorry out to the corporate. Sponsorship. Shit. Let's hear them out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, so my last one is going to require some uh, crowd participation. So I'm going to start snapping, and once I do, I want you all to like follow along and snap in the same beat. For all you white people, it's not going to be that It's not going to be that hard. Just snap on the beat. Not again.
Stark is devoted to creating smarter kids, new jobs, and a healthier community by funding arts programs. They operate and fund seven of the largest arts organizations, grants to promote the arts, and grants are provided to public arts and inter integration programs, urban revitalization, and community-wide events that celebrate the arts, such as the Grand Showcase.
round of applause for Francesca. I believe that it's just, this is the first time she's ever featured anywhere. She usually does open mics at Ready Mix. So. Yeah. Loyalty goes a long way. She's really improved over the past few months as she's been coming to Ready Mix. So. Oh, yeah. You can only go up from here. Our next performer also debuted with the sword fight today. They, they were against each other. Um, anybody who wants to know what a sword fight is, let me know. We'll, we'll talk about it. Um, she is queer feminist, local superhero, and sarcastic bitch. <laughs> Please welcome Daria Quinn. Sorry, Quinn. I, um, I am a poet and writer based in Canton, Ohio, and I have a foreplay. One dollar each. If you like the words that are coming out of my mouth, please support my art. Yes. For the love of God. I've been working on a series of poems that are loosely inspired by some of my favorite songs. And this is one of them. This is uh, based uh, loosely and inspired by the Ramon song, I Don't Want to Go Down to the Basement. Hey, Danny O, I don't want to go down to the basement. They make you think down there about queer rights and black lives and how women are people just like you. Hey, Danny O. I don't want to go down to the basement. I'd rather stay upstairs where all the best sellers are kept. Books about vampires and kinky sex and girls on fire. I love me some fictionalized girl power, but I don't want to go in the basement where the girl real girl where the real girl power is stored. <laughs> Feminism ain't for me, bro. I can go see the Black Panther movie, but I don't want to read about the real Black Panthers, now do I? No. Yeah. Black lives matter. <laughs> Black lives only matter to me on a movie screen. Because, hey, Daddy-O, I don't want to go down to the basement. They make you think down there, <laughs> where the books that no one reads live. No Pennywise or Sauron's eyes, just the stories of all the queer eyes. Not for the straight guys, but for the queer guys. <laughs> stories of community and fictional and otherwise that they don't want you to see. Because, hey, Daddy-O, you don't want to go down to the basement. The poetry hurts down there. They slam and confront and talk about all the things that everyone wants to bury like queer rights and black lives and how women are people just like you. These books but gather dust as the poet's voice gets drowned out by the bestsellers we sell upstairs. Fifty Shades of White Privilege, Multicultural yeah. Relationship. Everybody boops, but not everybody's shit gets published. Some of us are lucky, some of us are lucky we ever made it to print at all. That's why you want to buy me. Store <laughs> down in the basement where white eyes and privileged minds will never have to see us. Cause hey, Daddy O, you don't want to go down in the basement. <laughs> this, this is another. Uh, this is another radio dream. Uh, uh, loosely inspired by the Marilyn Manson song "Putting Holes in Happiness." Putting holes in happiness, I exist only to break the delicate balance between your joy and your pain. A sarcastic Jesus Christ of modern day hate. A messiah for the snide, loveless charade, which we call joy. It doesn't exist. I put holes in your happiness because what makes you happy destroys the world. You hold a moral code which says that the poor deserve to die because they're poor. That alone should say you bought lost all right to smile ever again. I will break your happiness until you realize that there's more to this life than just you and your money. Unfortunately, you'll die first. I'd call that suicide. Putting holes in happiness because I've lost my smile. I will make your death wish come to life, replace you with those you deny any dignity just to die, and watch you wallow in the muck of avarice, forever despised by those you once called out. This one is dedicated to our uh, first lady. <laughs> I don't really care, do you? Because poor literacy is so cool. So let's pull these families apart and shrug like it's not your fault. 
so you lock them in a cage while suburbia cheers away, because little do they understand that this is how Holocausts begin. Concentrate your undesirables, squeeze their blood to oil your gears, scream about putting country first as if this country deserves to live at all. Murder enemy and ally alike, they'll all be enemies soon enough, until all that there's left to say is I don't really care, do you? to uh, evoke images of Hillary Clinton, but it might. Trigger warning. <laughs> a passing glance of wicked ambition, she takes the stage, smiling as she greets a bloated figure of spoiled indulgence. She proceeds to let him dominate the conversation as if his ideas had merit. She responds by conceding her defeat and watches silently as he claims her ideas as his own. Invisible woman, never meant to be seen or heard, for when she speaks, her words become the boy. Give the words to a man, and he's praised for his prestigious insight. Let a woman speak. And we'll, we'll end this on the note of Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Hollywood rape culture, a branch of the patriarchy that makes our bodies into commodities to be assumed and consumed by those with the money to spend and the stroke to make it happen. Nudity on the big screen at 19 in order to assure that you're still getting work at 24. A quick, big, a quick, a quick bit of dick with a producer on his casting couch. Maybe if you're good, he'll put, a bit, put in a good word, assure you a career well into your 30s provided you can keep yourself good looking and thin and willing to fuck the producers again and again, again and again. No was never a barrier for you. Yes was only a gate and key to, a key to the gate for us. And once you were finished taking what you wanted, you only let us through the gate if you liked the way you fucked. We never had a position to negotiate from. It was suck my cock or never work in this town again. The system rigged by you and your two broke conspirators, vying for prime pussy real estate, getting in on the ground floor. You stake your claim on women as if you were the new world, as if they were the new world, and you were Christopher Columbus. Plant your flag on this pussy like that was never yours to claim. Yes. You exploit and manipulate and control and destroy, and we call this concept rape culture, but you call it business as usual. The environment fostered by your self-declared entitlement to our bodies puts us on this casting couch with your, within your fingers' reach, forced to place a price on our bodies and souls to appease your greasy, creeping fingers, or go back home and wait tables at the diner where the patrons all grab at your ass. Hollywood is just an exaggerated example of the same sexist system found in more subtle ways outside of it. Advancement comes to those with open legs for easy legs. This is not the price for work that anyone should be forced to pay, yet this is the gate you place before us to earn a living wage. My body will never belong to you or any other man, for I am not property. You will not be allowed to take me by force, tax-free, to raise a flag or plant a tree. I reject your claims as the natives rejected Columbus. I reject your gospel as a heretic rejects Jesus Christ. Keep your dick pics and your indecent proposals. I will forge my own way. I'd rather fail on my own than be your successful little fuck toy. from them because we're going to put them up in our bookstore upstairs, two floors up above here, that you all can look at after the show. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> but anyway, that's not, that's not the funny part. Um, so my car, uh, the license plate thing is broken, and I need to fix it, and I haven't gotten there yet. So I have like the license plate in the back window, you know, because that's 
back and it fell off. And so I'm driving along, I'm like, I don't care, you know, whatever, I'm just going like half a mile. And I drive, 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 and then all of a sudden, a cop like pulls out behind me. And I'm like, shit, all right, so I like throw my seatbelt on real quick, because I hadn't had on, so I was only going a half a mile. And uh, I'm like, he's, is he gonna follow me, is he gonna follow me? And I went, what? And he went, right? And I'm like, hashtag thank white privilege. <laughs> It was funnier to me in my own area. Um, Writing Nights alum Johnny Habu is at the helm of Rebel Salmon Media. They've dropped off multiple combat discs, comic books, and even vinyl rec records. Titles include. It's a nice power game. Isn't it? Bro, okay. Boo. Uh oh. Turn it off. Sorry, <coughs> what'd you do? Do you want to get that on again? That is not. Is the microphone itself maybe too Yeah, you've you moved the cord with your hand and mine. Boop, boop, boop. Technical difficulties, talk about you. Hey. Hello. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Howdy. Should I start that again? Yes. All right. Writing nights alone, Johnny Habu is at the helm of Rebel Salmon Media. They've dropped off multiple compact discs, comic books, and even vinyl records. Titles include The Birds of Prey, Songs to Fly South to, <laughs> Arts and Crafts by uh, Johnny Habu featuring DJ Meow Mix. Okay. My favorite. Virgin. What's up? That's my favorite. Is it? <laughs> That's my favorite. Sweet. Virgin Lungs, a retrospective. <laughs> and the first two issues of the Debasement comic book. Issue one, issue two. Okay. Um, uh, I know, I got one earlier. Yes, you know what? I forgot to grab it. Okay. It's probably over there. This is the Debasement seat. Yeah, the Debasement seat. It, it says on here. Anyway. Who was messing with the lights? Who told you to do that? Person? The ghost in there? Vertigo, what are you doing? Stop it. The Phantom of the Black Box. It's right. I'm scared by it. I'm slowly bursting in the flames. Should we just put the power in the whole building? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Blow this shit up. Yeah. Blow it down a little farther. I don't even know why he's doing it. Alright, that's fine. Alright, cool. Anyway, all those things are over there, and they're all free if you want a copy of them. In fact, I insist you take copies of them. Because I don't want to take them home. So, do that. <laughs> that's my nephew. You cannot have him, though. Yay! He's not for free. He is not for free. You have to buy him. Hashtag human trafficking. Our next performer! MC... Singer songwriter from Northeast Ohio, you won't be disappointed because I'm never disappointed when I hear the man. Please welcome Styles 83.
hip hop for y'all. Yeah. 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 What? Yes, you should. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, check, check. Clitoris? What? I 
what I wanted. Living for the moment, because you know you can't own it. Truth is, I don't want it, so you might as well pawn it. Laid back to me, the winner swag, so charming. Say a lot from a little stay somewhere in the middle. Knocking plex, nor simple. I'm the best, your temple. On this trickety track, I say these actors, chickity, chickity, check. Pick me, diggity, damn, you wiggity, really whack. I'm doing stuff like that. Put my city on the map to show them that we got it going on. So you know where it's at. Like we trying to join the club. You see me where it is, I don't care where it was. Laid back to me, the two stepping with a buzz. Every day's a celebration, so we do it just because. Chilling with my crew, nicer than we ever been. Different than the current trends, being the views. Shorty looking like she wanna teach me some moves. More is less, less is more than trying to be cool. Got the game on lock, I never follow the rules. Every angle's like pool, singing labels like can goods. Can't stand looks, I'm not too bad, feeling like a man, we got standard. We at the round table, chilling with our people and it's all good. Got you way too cool, niggas feeling awkward. You messing up your night, you and your status quo. We'll all have a good time when you let it go. Yeah. 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 Take over the dance floor, get loose. Take over and get loose. Take over the dance floor, get loose. Uh. Take over the damn floor, get loose, baby. Yeah. Take over and get loose. Take over. Yeah. Uh. yeah. This last one is a one of, another one of my personal favorites. This is gonna be all these songs are gonna be on my album coming out. Next month on the 16th, it's called All the Good Things. You can find, you're gonna be able to find it on Patreon. Yeah, man, like I said, I'm gonna repeat, we're trying to put quality back in people's hands, man. We're trying to do that real hip hop with some actual bar structures. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You mean writing? Yeah. Actual writing, yes, yes. Um, I'll do it yes. We got people coming in and out, leaving the door unlocked and whatever. All right, let's go. Okay, because they're all head up there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Looks yeah. like the sun's finally coming out. The snow's yeah, going yeah. away. Yeah. Not feeling pretty where, good. Where my tribe at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where my tribe at? You like, you like Indians. Some of y'all might feel like it. Check it. Check um. it. Yeah. Yo, 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 I do this like I got to Call it inventive, I still rock my cheap wahoo Working on that balance in life, yo, that's the motto We've been searching for those hot Yo, I got you Yo, 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 we do this like we got to Call it inventive, I still rock my cheap wahoo Working on that balance in life, well, that's the motto We've been searching for those hip hop uh, vibes, bro, yo. I got you we haven't been any controversial. We we'll hope to see returns on that everything we work for. Reaching for the things make it easy to settle. Reaching for those heights, they try to keep you street level. And have the people acting all crabs in a barrel. All them slings and arrows trying to reach the narrow. Because you can't do much with your pockets on zero. It gets ugly like crap and mirror. If it don't leave the lights on, we can hear up. Run this back, man. Y'all gotta hear the words on this. Y'all gotta hear the ones on this. Yeah. Looks like the sun's finally coming out. The snow's melting away. I'm feeling pretty good. We're ready to get active out Check here. Check your hands up like this for me. I gotta feel your energy. Some of y'all might feel like this. Yo, check it. Yo, 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 I do this like I got to. Call it offensive, I still rock my cheap wahoo. Working on that balance in life, yo, that's the motto. We've been searching for those hip hop vibes, bro. I got you. Yo, 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 I do this. 
It's like I got to call it inventive. I still rock my cheap wahoo. Working on that balance in life. Yo, that's a motto. Been searching for those hip hop um, vibes, bro. I got you. Yo, we haven't been any controversial. We're hoping to see returns on that everything we work for. Possible with things that make it easy to settle. Clues are for those like they try to keep you street level. It has the people acting all crabs in the barrel. All them slings and arrows trying to reach the De Niro. Because you can't do much with your pockets on zero. It gets ugly, the type to crack a mirror. If it don't keep the lights on, we ain't trying to hear it. I say it all like we don't have a filter. The hardest situation, I'm with all the fake news and the orchestrated gimmicks. Yo, 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 I do this like I got to. Call it offensive, I still rock my cheap wahoo. Working on that balance in life, you that's the motto. You've been searching for those hip hop vibes, bro, I got you. Yo, 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 I do this like I got to. Call it offensive, I still rock my cheap wahoo. Working on that balance in life, yo, that's the motto. You've been searching for those hip hop vibes, bro, I got you. Yo, it's going down, I'm zoning out under construction like the roads throughout Ohio in the summer. Most assume they cut us off, but this time we got your number. 83's a tune gun. Tapped in his roots, we'll build it off the elements. I'm hip hop like the sample and pizza president, but references are peppered in. I'm a native to a place they underestimate. The work it takes, we have the fakes, make the pressure raise. It's so easy to lose years to those yesterdays. Look at all those next moves, we check the check days. It's easy to get locked going after fast change, or you end up settled down with a cup full of seeds. It just became the thing to do, not what you need. Instead of following suit, I put on a pair of jeans. Yo, 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 I do this like I got to. Call it a mess, I still rock my cheek, my boo. Working on that balance in life, yeah, that's the motto. You've been searching for those hip hop vibes, bro, I got you. Yo, 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 I do this like I got to. Call it a mess, I still rock my cheek, my boo. Working on that balance in life, yo, that's the motto. You've been searching for those hip hop vibes, bro, I got you. Yo, stepping out the crowd like it's time to chow. Making reverence to the subjects we have minds about. Bringing answers to the searches we keep finding out. Where to go, where we won't take my clock and bounce. Have a grocery job, drowning out the sounds. Making do with these moves till I'm two weeks out. On the highways and byways, a little morale. No more Jeff Beecher rap, we're all grown up now. All the moments we have getting sewed up, how? I guess you're right, you have to give it weight to count. Brother, make no mistake, I'm on the same trail. I just took a different path of what we got here. People saying we should stop here, but I can't, cause you see they left the spot clear. I'm getting amped, do you think you got a shot? Yeah, I'm convinced it's the truth, so it doesn't have to make sense. Yo, 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 I do this like I got to. Call it a mess, I still rock my cheek. Why who sing with me, y'all? Where's the life? Yo, that's the motto. Yo, been searching for those hip hop vibes, bro, I got you. Yo, 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 I do this like I got to. Call it offensive, I still rock my cheap wahoo. Working on that balance in life, yo, that's the body. Y'all been searching for them hip hop pop, bro, I got you. Yo, my name's Kyle Diddy Bree, I want to thank y'all for having me uh, support the other night.
and Zeki's down here. We're kind of charging for the water and coffee, but I mean, I didn't know this thing. Oh, I'll pay Skyler for it. This one. Um, Arch and Stark provides grants for smaller arts organizations, individual artists, and other nonprofits looking to use the arts to deliver in innovative programs. They help downtowns across the county use live music, public art, and artist studios and galleries to revitalize. They also produce First Friday events as well as the downtown music block happening this weekend. I'll leave with know that unless you came in the front and you like that one guy. But anyway, Arch and Stark. <laughs> Looks like our next performer is not here, so you're about to experience something different. Poetry for the soul. Please welcome one single room. <laughs> We could all do better. Yeah. 
But I'm tired of y'all. You should be too. Lay your burdens down. Stop carrying around all this mess. Fill your bags with faith, hope, peace, love, joy, understanding. Go on ahead and get you some, because I did. And out of this bag, it's more manageable to carry around. What up, though, Karen?